Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Calculate's Game of Thrones. Man, I should just say what I really want to say instead of, like, trying to play the game. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Horrible. Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Yeah, at least well. it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back, here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie, I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. <laughs> it's true. Who would? And Oberyn Martell. Oh, that as well. Like Viper. But you know, old, he has a paramour. He's Which quite handsome. For wife. He is quite handsome. <laughs> from what I've heard. Yeah, we've Perhaps seen that. Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Yeah. <laughs> Marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Amazing. Unless it was like Baratheon. <laughs> Joffrey, if it meant you'd become queen. Heck no. He does have a certain look about him. <laughs> not to Joffrey. Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine <laughs> the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kings. I'm glad you're such a sellout. I guess I kind of was too, my though. Handmaiden. Thanks, Let's I guess. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> What a perfect match! Um, so run and what are you doing? Oh. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Okay. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. Yeah, but we the all know. was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. I'm sorry, I didn't Things need to make you can mad. Be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once it will. Your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Yeah. Um. Yes. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. <laughs> your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I guess I could ask her. Um, sure. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no uh, secrets between God, us. God, I don't think I can, though. It's a problem. It's about my family. I trust her. I don't. I prefer to speak alone. I prefer to speak with you alone. I know you're a gold digging hoe. Get out of here. <laughs> She's like, you'll remember that. Oh, too bad. Go on. Uh, mother needs our help. Ask. Uh, Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought, if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but... 
She insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady. And it's okay. I wouldn't ask if you can't do it, Tyrion and me, but we're gonna be bros. No choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Uh... Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. It is. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Um... You're adored by the king. Don't let the queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. That's true, though. Ramsay <laughs> will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. I kind of want Tyrion to, like, help me, though. <laughs> Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. Man. She's so troubled now. I feel bad. Oh, we're back. <sighs> What's going to happen to us on this road? Oh, that's good. <laughs> I like how he doesn't even care. He's just like, uh. Buy a horse, whatever. Seven elves. Oh God, are we around to idiots again? Let's play. Oh, of course. I was gonna say or him. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? God, why is he so crazy? <gasps> What am I supposed to do? Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. Oh, Why does it get like stopped. red when I'm out here? As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man. Blade man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden of the Am I supposed to like move out of here? I don't get it. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? Dame. My lord? Shh. Listen. My lord, you're being crazy. I wonder why that guy didn't turn there. in. Hear that? Uh, I know I heard something. Let's stay still. They're pretty dumb. Never mind. Ha <laughs> ha! Knew it! We've wasted enough time already. Dummies. The one guy totally saw us, though, right? Where'd our horse go, by the way? Why does this tree look like it's made out of cardboard? <laughs> oh no, I don't want to see. God, really? Okay. Maybe he made like a pretty picture on him or something. Like red paint? Maybe. Oh my god! Bloody hell. Dang. That's rude. Ethan. Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. 
like how he just keeps walking. And there are those within like, these uh. walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What do they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. Oh, huh? He was fair and wise. I want to be and like him. In battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. Okay. Oh. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Oh, okay. Hmm. Where are my options? <laughs> uh oh. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Uh, who Lord is this man? Maester. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! I don't think we so. We all fucking know it! <laughs> Quiet, thief. <laughs> Eric was supposed to be guarding Guys, our weapons, amazing. but instead we caught him stealing them. Uh... Two shields and three spears. Stole. Why did you do it? Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. There are not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's Aww. our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Together we'll survive. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. You can send him to the <sighs> He's wall. He's kind of right, though. Show him mercy, my lord. He stole from us. He deserves to live. Make him pay for what he stole. Give us justice. Ah, fuck him. I will decide. I like that lady. Oh, man, what am I going to decide? I think I'll send him to the wall, though. You'll be punishing an innocent man. You'll be an injustice, my lord. Please. Um. Lord, my family depends on me. I'm. I, 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 uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh. Said, I mean, is that. Yeah. I sentence you to the wall. Where you will join the Night's Watch. No, oh, please, my lord! My family, without me, they'll die! They won't. <clears throat> Don't worry. Aww. Is everybody gonna be that sad? Certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Was I right? Maester, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief. I only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. You heard what the thief uh -oh. said. Uh -oh. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Mm -hmm. I don't know who to someone pick then. Someone you can rely on. 
no matter the circumstance. Who would you choose? Possessing wisdom. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. I don't know. I love, like, angry guy, but them. I don't think he's Solicit my style. the opinion of people close to you. So I think I'll yeah. go for uncle guy. The Besides, he knows what's going sentiment. on with the thing. In the, the thing. badge of office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel. And I put a bracer on him. You are Here, let me slide this, this up your arm. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you. Thank you for your counsel, maester. It is my duty. <laughs> maester, you have such fabulous hair. Ready to convene the small council, It's so disheveled in like a nice way. My hair is pretty great too, though. Dang. I love that guy, but I just, I don't know, man. I don't think he's what we need. Oh, well, maybe he is what we need right now. Probably be best to show aggression at a time like this. What's over here? Tower? Uh, look at myself? What? Oh, I didn't see it. It's back there. Okay, let's look at the food, actually. That's way better. I thought I was going to look at myself. I was like, I'd like to see that. Hey. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. Uh. But it doesn't look good. Eric said people were going to starve. Why can't we feed them? The war has taken its toll. Even our own stores for the house are dwindling. Mm. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are. <sighs> what are we going to do we then? Take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before, in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. No, there must be something else we can do. Well, I hope we find it soon. We won't have much room to maneuver if we don't have the option of holding fast. I can speak God, to I don't know what to do, man. Trappers. Being a lord's they tough. Can do more. My lord. Hmm, okay. Let's see what, uh, what's his face has to say. You're all worthless and weak. <laughs> Why's that guy the best? Oh, who's this guy? Let's go look at him. What are you doing? Doing some saddle things? That's cool. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Oh, that guy's Ethan. pretty fancy. Hello, Uncle Malcolm. Oh. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. Uh, why are you packing? The first light. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher. <gasps> I hope there's a whole storyline with Asher. That guy seems amazing. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her she would be right. Here. I look very I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will halt, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. Uh, but you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. <laughs> but my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why are you so sure? Ah, Sir Royland is the man you want. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. <laughs> is she going to say the opposite? Oh, no. I should pick a war guy, but I kind of want to pick Uncle Guy because I just want to see where that goes. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. 
Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. You promised me you wouldn't change and I believed you. Ah. Afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, um, please. Who should be Sentinel? Tell me. Who should I name as my Sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. <laughs> He's dependable and uh. smart, and everyone trusts his judgement. So Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. God, you guys are the worst. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Ugh. You really should crush the opposition, though. But I'm gonna be dumb. Yeah, Pick something say, different. Get that sword out. Uh, do we need to talk to that guy? Do we need to go there? Let's talk to, uh. Can we talk to the guy? Okay. Sir Roiland! Let's look at you. What are you doing? Come on, come on! What did I say? Sword on! Slash right! Parry! Again! Uh. Sword up! Swing left! Parry! Wrong! <laughs> Wrong! I didn't know dogs could hold swords! A word? Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. Uh, how are our defenses? What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot, ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. I feel and, like... Uh, I'll be sure to watch I don't out know what to do. Well, today, I know that strategically I, I should pick that guy, but... Come. I'm gonna be nice. We're gonna go down in a nice way. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, let's get this over with, I guess. Hey, Duncan. I'm be my bro. I just know he knows what's going on. Duncan. I wanna find out. Yes, what's my up. lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Uh. Ask him. Okay. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps um... I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I, feel... I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. I'm wondering if, like, he's actually the bad guy, like, this whole time. You know what I mean? <sighs> Are you holding a sword or a turkey leg? <laughs> That guy's so great. Okay, fine. We're gonna Duncan, pick this guy. I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? Yeah, sure. Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester Ortengrin to do it at once. Well... We'll see. I'm sure I doomed our happy little town to death, but at least I'll go out like a good person, sort of, right? Maybe? <laughs> Who knows? Okay. Hey! Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? Yeah, I am. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Sir Roiland's gonna be so mad, I think he's gonna try to kill me. 
what's gonna happen.